School buses are becoming cleaner. Standing by to tell us more is Emily Calandrelli, an engineer and TV host. What does the science tell us about school bus emissions? Right. So we probably all remember growing up with these old diesel buses that have that thick black smoke that comes out of their tailpipe. And what's in that thick black smoke are harmful emissions that are bad for the environment. They're bad for kids' lungs. It contains things like nitrous oxide that's just no good for our lungs. And so today we have better alternatives to upgrade our school buses like propane and electric, but with propane school buses, you have this marginally higher cost that drastically reduces emissions. It actually reduces nitrous oxide emissions by 96% compared to diesel. So that's what I'm really excited about. Of course, electric is, uh, you know, you have no emissions there, but it's three times the cost of propane. You can get three propane buses for every electric bus. So I think for most school districts around the country, propane is a really, really good option. How do school buses affect the environment, Emily? There are so many buses out there rolling around. Yeah, there's a lot of buses out there rolling around. And it, the, the environmental aspect is something that is incredibly important. But I think we all are very excited about having our kids have cleaner air to breathe because that not just it doesn't just affect the planet, doesn't just affect the, the world, but it affects our immediate vicinity, our communities and the stuff that we breathe and our kids breathe. And I think that's what we can all get excited about is having a clean, safe ride to school uh, with, with cleaner school buses. Do you think that cleaner buses is a trend that is catching on? I definitely think it's a trend that people are waking up to. And the thing that scares a lot of people is the cost of these sorts of things, which is why this is a program that I'm really excited about. The Environmental Protection Agency has a clean school bus program that is offering $5 billion over the next five years to school districts to help upgrade their fleet, right? Because not every school district can afford to, to retire their azing diesel buses. So these grants um, really help with that. They had just, I believe they just offered their first round of these grants, but the grants are um, opening up soon. So right now is a really good time for educators and parents and families and school districts to be thinking about this sort of thing so they can take advantage of this program and upgrade their fleet. The, so to learn more, if you're a parent who wants to learn more about this, you just go to betterourbuses.com. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.